because I had some extreme growth. Like, even when if I go through my journey videos, like, I didn't get that amount. Like, what I just got in six months is like what I would give in a year. Hey guys, so, um, I'm coming to you with this video. I actually didn't plan on doing any more link checks or anything of that sort since I got my hair cut in January. Uh, well, I'm not on a growth journey. I'm about to get my hair trimmed or cut again. I'm not sure. Maybe you can help me make that decision after you watch this video because actually after the growth I've experienced and I'm going to let you know why later in the video, I may actually want to see how this plays out. I haven't been on a length retention journey um, since I like in a really long time actually since I did my three year update um, I said I was and then all those out of the windows as you know in some of the past videos so um, got my hair cut in January I've been blowing it out straightening it trying different styles just having fun with my hair as usual and um, you know those things like especially with frozen stuff like those things aren't great for length retention but I have still managed to retain a lot of length and um, my hair has grown quicker than usual and my hair has always grown I guess you can say on a quicker on the quicker end of the scale because um, I reached bra strap length in three years went from like that much hair to bra strap length in three years so that was never really an issue as far as you know getting my hair to grow it's always grown I've always eyebrows have always grown in nails have always grown long but something changed and um, actually it starts with a eyelash journey um so like i said never had issues with my hair growing out of my scalp but my lashes i had some um like little bald areas and my sisters have like these really long fabulous lashes but i had like these really short like they mine were they're really curly but they like there weren't many of them i guess you could say and i noticed that it felt like it felt like there was it's like less i don't know because it was rubbing my eyes or whatnot but i was like kind of freaking out like last year and um one thing i did try because i was putting like those little um half lash pieces on just trying to make it look more natural because i don't wear a lot of makeup and i didn't want to just go around like lashes and so i was doing that and then i tried something to look a little more natural which like the individual lashes and I'll show a picture of that and oh my gosh that blew everybody away they're like oh my gosh what you do you look so great and you're so pretty and the little you know all the little students at the school like oh my gosh you look so pretty and I'm just like really like I have to put on the lashes and you know everybody's like oh wow so I didn't want to have to feel like that I needed the lashes so I was like okay I'm not doing those again and actually whenever they would like, kind of like fall out like I saw with a couple of them like my a couple of the few lashes I feel like I had fell out and I'll show you pictures if I'm not already posting them throughout this video and so no more individual lashes because I didn't want to you know get to the point to where I feel like I needed them and I remember a friend telling me um with his girlfriend he would pay for her to get her lashes done all the time I'm like she gets them done a lot he's like well she needs them because she got them done so much to the point to where she doesn't even have her own anymore I don't want that to be me so I wanted to find other alternatives and I didn't want to spend a lot on serums that I knew I would you know I'm not gonna buy those my entire life and you know keep using them and looked into some things and uh in February I started using Biotin and MSM and I'll show you the progress my lashes have made and actually they're longer and those spots are filling in like pretty much the little like like I mean I had like some bald gaps like those are pretty much gone and um I'll, I'll have to show some comparison photos actually I can't just kind of you know just show you now you're like oh okay well those look normal like compared to what my lashes did look like i have to find see if i can pull up the video where i have on any makeup or mascara or something you can tell i believe i have some photos but um i wasn't consistent when i took these actually um starting with the biotin i don't know which one worked more i actually changed my diet i went pescatarian again trying to work my way back to being vegetarian um read the beauty detox um, for the third time and I was implementing you know some of the things she Kimberly Snyder said in that book and some of those supplements so I mean my diet changed long you know my husband's been very supportive he's also a pescatarian I'm so proud of him but we you know we changed you know water intake and those things but I'm pretty sure this is what um, did it the biotin and the MSM and I'm going to show you the difference because 
from what I have read that hair grows from a quarter inch to half an inch and I believe I have retained quite a bit and I haven't actually been trying to retain length so I mean I feel like it may it would have been even longer if I actually would have been doing some protective styling or being more careful with my hair but I have not I mean I've done like I said flat eye wand curls couple blowouts fro fro fro's so um but I thought I would share this with you all because I know some of you are on growth journeys that, you know, I mean, all of us are on different journeys, but I know some of you still want to grow longer hair. Now, um, I did start taking these at the same time, but the biotin, I ran out of this one first. I started taking these like in February and um, I think I went a month without taking it. The first bottle I had was Trader Joe's brand and then I bought some at HEB. So this is my second and actually just, you know, probably went a month and a half. So I wasn't consistent actually when taking these. And um, this is my second thing of MSM. I haven't even opened this one and I probably had it like a week or so. So I don't take both of these on a regular, but I probably would see even better results. Because I know even whenever, I, like even when I didn't run out of this one and I still had some of this one, I know there were weeks. Where I would go without taking them but I am pretty sure like when I did over the past couple months um, they are what played a part in the hair growth that I have um you'll see as I measure my hair out I believe there's some places where it's like four or five inches and that's bananas for six months especially when I wasn't even you know protecting my hair the way I could if I wanted to retain length. Um, my nails have always grown long. You can look at old videos before I took. I started taking this up February. My nails were long, but um, they were definitely stronger. I just cut my nails maybe like two weeks ago. They were like pretty long, like months before this, but they were like super strong. Like even when I slammed one in a door and the finger got infected and everything like it was terrible but the nail wouldn't break i called it frankenstein nail like it grew back out and it was growing like wopsided it was just crazy so i believe um this it was the msm and the biotin so for those of you who are on growth journeys i believe those things do work and i did not take any other hair supplements like the popular ones you see on instagram and all of that i didn't take those but i believe those are some of the main ingredients in those hair pills and these were inexpensive like and I think you get way more of the MSN and biotin if you just buy it like that and I believe they were like both less than ten dollars so um, you're gonna see the link check the differences um, so for those of you who want to grow longer hair I believe this is it and I'm actually I actually kind of wanna you know I haven't been on a growth journey or anything but I'm like what if I would have you know taken it on a regular basis and actually, you know, try to retain some length. Like, how much more length would I retain? Because I thought it was crazy. I mean, I just cut my hair. So, um, I may not. I was thinking about getting some more to back cut shorter. Because I'm about to get a trim. That's why it's kind of blown out. So, I'm going to get a trim. So, um, yeah, I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to get it reshaped. Or just go in for a trim. Because um, whenever I show you when I measure this out, the back grew way quicker than the front. So my shape that I had going on is kind of gone. So I'm just kind of debating, am I going to go shorter in the back? Or am I just going to kind of let it, you know, just kind of go with the flow, let it grow out. And, but um, yeah, I didn't want to feel like I needed, you know, falsies. I don't wear makeup on a regular basis. Um, you see, I only have like lip here. Purposely didn't wear makeup. So these things are also great for your skin. Still working on this area. You're going to learn more about my struggle area on my forehead um, in the next couple weeks because I'm going to do a skin video. Um, but yeah, I'm a teacher. I don't want, you know, my little girls to look to me and think, oh, I have to be, you know, this fabulous and wear makeup and things like that. No, I kind of, you know, I want to present natural beauty, but it was so crazy. They were like, oh, what did you do? Look at your eyes. I'm like, oh, these individuals are not going to work. You know, you take them out and everybody's like, oh, what happened? I was like, no, I'd rather stick with my regular face. Um, and then whenever it's time to glam it up, glam it up. And then, you know, just be cute for, you know, whatever occasion. So, um, yeah, I was actually feeling a little more insecure once I had the falsies on. Everybody's like, wow. So I didn't want to have to depend on those. And I believe um, I've made lots of lash progress with the MSM and Biotin. Whenever I was reading up a lot of that, you know, those are the things that popped up. So, um, took them, 
February wasn't consistent. Um, I'll be better, I guess, for the next six months. But um, I'm just not quite sure how I'm going to get my hair cut in the next day or two. So um, when I had my twist out, I did. I knew I was going to make this video once um, I knew I was about to get my trim. So I decided to measure my hair. I'm going to show you those in more detail now. Um, if you've also, and I also believe that these things will not work if um, the, you don't have a def um, deficiency in your diet. So if you're already getting enough sulfur, you may not see the same um, results. So obviously, I wasn't getting enough sulfur because I had some extreme growth. Like even when I go through my journey videos, I didn't get that amount. Like what I just got in six months is like what I would get in a year, I believe. So um, yeah. So hope this helped. And um, yeah. Comment below if you've taken biotin or MSM or any of the other hair vitamins and what were your results. Um, and also, what do you think I should do? Do you think I should get it cut shorter in the back or just kind of let it grow and go with the flow? And kind of like just, what if I kind of see what it does in a year? Like this was six months. It was crazy. Like what, <laughs> how long will my hair be a year since the cut? Um, because what I think I have now is probably what I was expecting in January. But who knows? My nails are growing back. Um, they're still really strong. And yeah, hope this helped, guys. Thanks for watching. And God bless.